My name's Ellen. I'm a research assistant at Kong Lee's Development Lab. This is where we do our deception studies. And here we play three games with the kids. You've been doing such a good job and we got off to such a good start that I kind of want to give you a prize. So I've actually picked one out just for you. So, so you can open it up and I'm going to get set up for the next activity. Do you like your prize? Yes, because it smells good. Children begin to tell lies at two years of age, and these kind of lies tend to for their own benefit, such as to cover up their transgression or to gain some benefits for themselves. But with increased age, they become more and more likely to tell white lies to spill other people's feelings or to be polite. Ironically, even though we morally do not condone lying in general, but lying is an essential part of our everyday life. And imagine a world that nobody lies. And that's going to be an incredibly crude world. Let's try this one. Do you think it's higher or lower? Lower. All right, stand up and see. Oh. Uh-oh. Elisa, this is the moment of truth. This is the last round that we are playing. So if you can guess this one right, that candy bag is yours. But if you can't guess it right, then I get to keep that bag of candy. But you know what? I think I hear my phone ringing. Oh, okay, hang on one second. I'll be right back. Don't look at the car. You can make your guess when I get back. And then just give me two minutes, okay? I knew I heard it ringing. It was my mom. Super important. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's get back to it. Lisa, when I was out of the room, did you peek at the card? Maybe. Can you sit, put your hands down for me? And can you say yes or no? Uh, um. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> When young children under seven years of age lie, you can ask follow-up questions, and then you can easily detect they actually lie, just lied, because they cannot cover up their initial lie. Children's ability to tell lies at a young age tends to be indicative of their other abilities, such as their ability to communicate with the others, their ability to um, understand the other people's emotions and their ability to know the difference between what they know, what they feel, and what the others know, others feel. And these abilities are essential for us to interact with each other. So having the ability to tell lies is really a milestone to tell you your child is doing okay. So there are telltale signs of uh, lying or truth telling that we cannot see with our naked eye, but computer vision can see. We used technology developed by Emotion, and this program basically using computer vision to learn to detect your subtle muscle movements on your face. And by looking at the combinations or patterns of your muscle movements, we can tell whether or not you are experiencing real emotion or you are faking emotion. <laughs> 